Hey everybody, I'm Steve Sandy from Apple World Today, and uh, today I'm doing something a little bit different. This is an Apple accessory, and it's called the Moment Drone by Sim2. It's currently an Indiegogo crowdfunding uh, program that is well over its uh, uh, funding uh, goal, and the really good thing about it is they're actually, or they've actually shipped out about a thousand of these things already. That's how I got one for review purposes. Now the cool thing about this is uh, it kind of competes with the other drone that I have, which is the Hover uh, Camera Passport. Uh, that's a great little uh, selfie drone, so to speak. That's mainly what you use them for. You're not going to use them for those wonderful cinematic shots that you would normally fly uh, something like a DJI Mavic Pro or Inspire 4 or any of those uh, with. But uh, these are great for just taking pictures of groups of people and things like that. Uh, as you can see, it's a you know regular quadcopter. It's got uh, kind of a plastic frame over the uh, propellers, so you can actually uh, you know grab it inside without worrying about your fingers going into the holes there. On the bottom, we've got a little uh, sonar detector that just kind of sends out a lot of little blips. You can actually hear it. Uh, tells it how high it is above the ground. There's also a camera for uh, determining where the device is uh, in relation to the ground. Uh, the battery pack comes off. It's actually an, in well, I hope it comes off. Come on here. Maybe I'd close this. It would uh, work a little bit better. There we go. Anyway, this comes off. It's kind of an intelligent battery pack. And uh, if you take a look at this uh, device right here, we've got a micro SD slot into which you put a card. You can put up to a 64 gigabyte SD card uh, to capture video and photos. A pretty nifty little device. Uh, right now, during the Indiegogo campaign, the price is $199. It will normally apparently be $349. And uh, at this point, I'm just not going to show you any more of that. Instead, we're going to take a look at some footage of the app that's used to control this device, as well as from the device as it's uh, flying through the air. We're looking at the Moment app here, and as you can see, it's got a pretty complex and uh, complete user manual built in. Uh, there's a section on calibration. Uh, you can see all the different icons that appear on the screen at different times. Uh, way too many as far as I'm concerned. And uh, there's you know, even information about setting up the joysticks in U.S. or Japanese mode, setting sensitivity. Okay, now we're looking at the Moment app. I'm connecting to the drone and we see the video actually as the drone sees it. I'm going to tap on the automatic takeoff button tells me what's going to happen. I confirm that and I, now I get an error message but it's going to take off anyway here and there we go. And as you can see that was a pretty smooth uh, climb to 1.5 meters. I had it move forward. I want to climb a little bit more so I'm going to hit the uh, joy pad there. We're now going to rotate around the vertical axis and get kind of pointed back in the uh, position where I happen to be. There I am. And you can see the uh, controls aren't too cluttered, but I still find this to be uh, somewhat confusing because these buttons change as you tap on them. Sometimes I just don't feel like I, I know what's going to happen. Now I'm uh, actually using the gimbal control to gimbal down a little bit and take a look at that. The, the gimbal is pretty jerky, uh, not very smooth. So now we're getting some video from the device. You can see it's uh, counting off the time here. Uh, actually, it looks pretty smooth considering it's moving around quite a bit. <clears throat> I've got to get the camera to go back up here, so I'm going to stop the video. Actually, what I need to do go ahead and land it.
Now this second flight session today, uh, later a little bit later on, didn't have uh, as much goodness as the first one did. And what I mean by that is uh, almost immediately it was coming up and telling me that I had lost signal. Uh, GPS was still good. You can kind of occasionally see this white window with the word lost on it flashing on there. Uh, takes off okay, but when I'm trying to climb it just is kind of sitting there saying I'm not really sure you're telling me to climb. Climbs a little bit, but not much. And uh, about this point, you know, I just really thought Maybe it's not going to be uh, flying all that well. Maybe I'd better see if I can get a little bit closer. I tried uh, seeing if I could get the tap to follow uh, to work, and you notice it just about hit my car, <laughs> which I'm laughing at there in the tape. Uh, flies over my car very low and scarily low uh, there a few times. And we've got a few orbits of the car. It's doing pretty good uh, avoiding it, it seems like. Uh, I try getting closer to see if I get a better signal. That doesn't seem to be happening. Huh. And uh, at one point here, it starts going into uh, kind of an oddball little mode where it's flying a big circle. Let's see if we can see it happen here. But. Uh, it likes the top of my car, it really does. If I can get this thing hooked up with a sponge, maybe I can have it wash the car because it really needs it right now. And uh, I'm still trying to control it, and I'm getting uh, no control. Uh, things just were not working worth a darn. Couldn't get it to land, couldn't get it to do anything. A little sound there and this is where it's doing this circular motion and uh, shortly here I believe it actually even runs into my car and right about here boom and uh, then it starts going under the car it's good to know that this can fly under a car and actually get itself out too, which was uh, pretty good. When it popped out, I grabbed it by hand and turned it off. Not a good flight experience that time. <laughs> We're gonna end up this video today with uh, some actual video footage from the Moment drone as it was flying above this uh, lovely parking lot here. But you can see the fall trees, you can see the Rocky Mountains off in the distance, including uh, Mount Evans with snow on it already. It's uh, getting to be that time of year in Colorado. And uh, at this point, it was fighting a pretty stiff uh, sideways breeze, so you do see some tilting there. It will always tilt into the wind. Um, really, I was uh, pretty impressed. Uh, I did a pretty decent job. Unfortunately, wasn't shooting this at uh, the requested 4K resolution instead of it's at 1080p. I'd love to see what it's like at 4K, but not for this review.